Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made, and of course, we are rejoicing and glad in it. Praise God. Welcome, welcome to another great morning of the Word of God for you today in Jesus' name. Hey. Brother Bill, give him a great big welcome at yes, this time. Yes, good morning, everyone. Get your coffee, get your tea, get your co cozy, warm blankets, and snuggle up with us with the Word of God. We're glad you have joined us. It's going to be another great day. We're talking about believing for it, part two. What are you believing God for? If you believe in God for something, stay on it until you receive it. Amen. Well, we love you. God bless. And stay tuned for the Word of God. Praise and, and what I'm doing right now, I'm taking a moment just to uh, go to my different uh, links there and groups and take a moment just to share this because you know what? It's, it's the Word of God that makes a difference in all our lives. Mm -hmm. And there are people all over the world that are, that are starving for the word of God. So we just be able to, you know, God giving us a way through Facebook to be able to, uh, uh, and also the YouTube, just go ahead and share this. So take a moment just to share it and, and give it to your, uh, the different um, uh, other areas that you have. And, and let's see God do some mighty things this morning in Jesus name. Praise God. So again, thank you for uh, sharing and thank you for being a part of getting the gospel of Jesus Christ out literally around the world, you know, at one time. You know, people that are in Nigeria, Kenya, Tanzania, uh, throughout America can hear the word of God at the same moment, praise God. So that's a that's a miracle within itself. So we've been talking about this whole week for the last two weeks now, believing for the supernatural results, believing for it. How, how do you believe for it? And we've been, we talked about last week, that what we call that volume number one. This week is called volume number two, believing for it. You know, and, and, we, and our title today is going to be called Believing for supernatural results mm -hmm. because there's times in our lives that all the things we try to do in the natural realm, you know, trying to think through our own natural human mind, mm -hmm. intellect, man, that just creates worry, creates frustration mm -hmm. and things like that. But when we go back to the word of God and say, okay, yeah. God, now I've done all I know to do with the situation. I need something supernatural to happen in this situation. Amen. And, you know, and God is a supernatural <laughs> God. He's a God and supernatural means he can do things beyond our natural ability mm -hmm. and we're trusting him. But we're talking about now, how do you get that to happen? Mm -hmm. Because the whole point is, all right, now, Dr. Craig, you're talking about this, mm -hmm. but how do I literally get results? And that's what we're dealing with this week is about, all right, how do you get results? How do you believe for Amen. results Amen. to really get results in your life? That's right. And so that's what we're going to focus on today and for the rest of this week because we want this to work for you, for you and not just be a good sermon that you hear in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, so we're going to look at number one, what are results? Results are the outcome Fruit, conclusion, or tangible effects of believing. In other words, when you believe in God, there should be an outcome. Mm -hmm. There should be fruit. There should be a conclusion, or there should be a tangible effect for your believing. In other words, you know. In other words, what are the tangible effects you're looking forward to as a result of believing? Yes. You know, in those areas, because sometimes people say, "I've been believing for the last ten years." Well, you know, it don't take God ten years to do anything. <laughs> praise God, unless that do with something about His. His uh, sovereign plan, but normally if you believe in God for some things and, and, and you got the things in order according to his word, you know, but he, one time he said, he said that he should reward you uh, uh, speedily. Yes. So God, he said, while you're yet speaking, I'll hear you. That's right. So the whole point is sometimes just that we don't know how to get the results and we, and we kind of get into religion. You know what? I'm just waiting on God, but God said, no. I'm waiting on you to learn how to believe me for those results That's good. because without faith, it's impossible to please yes. God. And he that cometh to God must first believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. So that's important. So we're going to look at now uh, uh, how then do I believe for supernatural results in my life? You must have confidence in the process that brings you to a place of believing and where you get results. That's the thing. Because I don't know about you, but uh, there's nothing worse than not getting results. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. When you have a high expectation for something and the results don't show up. You know, in those areas, you know, man, maybe if you if you're hungry mm -hmm. and I'm, we've been to restaurants sometimes mm -hmm. and, you know, and I have high expectations being on being in those restaurants mm -hmm. and, you know, get, you know, get my food at a certain level, have a certain level of service and nothing worse than having a mm -hmm. having a waitress that after you've gotten you're hungry and, you, and that's, you know, that's, that's coming with you real. One time in this restaurant, I asked for some water. Then he gave me this, this old bottle of water with no straw, no, no, no glass, anything. I mean, you know, and sometimes I've had, you know, went to restaurant, had steak. 
mistakes sometimes. And, you know, and you expect a certain level of results. Yeah. And the steak comes back either too overcooked or too rare, something like that. And it's just nothing worse than having things that don't work or don't get results that Amen. you expect. But Amen. the whole point is to understanding this. This week, we kind of teach you some things about how do then mm-hmm. I make sure, praise God, that I can get the result. Because one of the things about it, when you know the process of how something works, you have more faith in it. Yes. You follow me? You have more faith in it in Jesus' name. So I see Virginia's with us. God bless you, Virginia. Good morning, Virginia. Welcome today with us, praise God, and many more that are coming on. Now, so this is the this thing. God wants to bless you. God wants mm-hmm. you to get results. Mm-hmm. God wants you to partner with him for kingdom assignments Mm -hmm. and projects that he wants done on the earth. Because God has no one to do it but you and I. That's right. So it's not so it's, it's you know it's not like God gave you this big dream and he not he don't want it to happen. Uh-huh. No, God wants you to partner with him, you know, and get your faith in line so he can use your faith to get his projects and his assignments done on the earth. Amen. So so that's the thing. That's why it's so important for us to get this because you know sometimes we're holding up God. Mm, <laughs> Amen. You know God. what I mean? Because God says, you know, if I if I if I seek for a person who I can show myself strong in. You know what I mean? I, you know, and, and so God is looking for people that will take the time mm-hmm. to develop their faith and their belief to believe in for the results of the dream that he put in your heart in mm-hmm. Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. So point number three is what? You must keep God first. Okay, that's the first thing. Mm-hmm. You know, because this is what happens sometimes. I've seen so many people that get into this but sometimes for the wrong motive, yeah. and they get their first car, the first house, you don't see them in church no more. Because mm-hmm. sometimes I, that priority is for believing God. Even though God does not mind you having the things, mm-hmm. God does not mind you being tremendously blessed, but sometimes they get their, their priorities wrong. Right, and, right. And, and so in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33, mm-hmm. look at what it says here. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you first. Amen. So that's the main thing right there. Okay. In, in other words, God says, all right, you see the thing that everybody's just thinking about? Everybody's going out there, you know, you know, missing church for, mm-hmm. getting out of God's plan for. He said, all those things, when you put me first in your life, yeah. he said, they'll be added to you. Yes. And so, and so that's, that's trust that God said, I'm going to get them added to you from your believing and not from your working and putting me uh, aside in your life mm-hmm. in those areas. Mm-hmm. So, so if, so if I seek the kingdom of God first, mm-hmm. I'm going to I'm going to see uh, it's going to take care of all other things. Yes, it will. You got that? So that's very important. See, notice in the book here of Job chapter 36 and verse 11 what it says. If they obey and serve him, mm-hmm. they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. So can you see what's going to happen there? <laughs> God says, "Okay, now if you obey me, mm-hmm. And serve me, mm. not serve things, but serve me. He said, I'll see too that you spend your days in prosperity, your years in pleasure. So I'm telling you something, that, that, that by itself is a reason why to just get in obedience to God mm-hmm. and to serve God rightly and to know how to do that. Because God says, if I can get someone to you get their faith developed, to get my kingdom assignments done, you know, that I need done on the earth, then I'll see to it that they spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. Mm-hmm. And but see, the, the whole goal is it cannot be for me, my Ford, no more in Jesus' name. It's got to be, it's about the kingdom of God first. And as a result, of that God says, I'll see to it that you now spend the rest of your days yes. in prosperity and the rest of your days mm-hmm. in pleasure in Jesus' name. And we can see that also in, in the book of Psalms, chapter 35, verse 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. See, so God is not trying to keep prosperity from you. Mm-hmm. He said, if you'll favor my righteous cause. My righteous cause. He said, I'll see to it because I have pleasure in the in prosperity. Mm-hmm. And think about this. If God has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant, mm-hmm. how much more his son? Mm-hmm. How much more his daughter? Amen. So that's the thing now. So we see God. He said, and you serve me and obey me. I'll see to it, and I'll, and I'll take pleasure in it, and seeing to it that you spend the rest of your days in mm-hmm. prosperity. So that must mean that a lot of people that think they're serving God is not serving God. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes the church folks are the most poorest people in, on the earth, are you oh following me? And, and, and we say we're serving God, but we say, oh, I'm serving God because I go to church. Well, no, that's not serving God. Mm-hmm. And that thank God for you going to church. You should go to church, mm-hmm. but that's not what you call serving God. Mm-hmm. Serving God is a, really allowing him to use you to get his work done, his assignment done, mm-hmm. on what he wants done on the earth, as a result of that, he says, 
I'll see to it Amen. that the things are added to you. Amen. I'll see to it that you live the rest of your days in prosperity and your years in pleasures That's in Jesus' right. name. So the point number four mm -hmm. is... We have to use our imagination. Now that's the now, and mm -hmm. that's what we're gonna probably deal with for the rest of this week a little bit there. Because how do you use your imagination? Because mm -hmm. when I first thought about imagination, you know, and, and things like that, you know, man, that seemed like it's almost like you know, you're getting way out there and in, in, mm -hmm. into the spooky world. Are uh, you follow me? But no, God uses our imagination. Yes, you notice here, uh, but see, sometimes this, the devil can put the wrong imaginations inside of us mm -hmm. and make us think that imaginations are wrong. Yeah. And so we can see this as we look at this in, 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 in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse number 3, 4, and 5. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down strongholds, casting down imaginations in every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So, so we can see here that he tells us to cast those down those imaginations, mm -hmm. but he's not getting tell us get rid of your imaginations. Right. But just the ones that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Because he understands the power of imaginations. Mm -hmm. I did a research one time on imagination. And when you use that word cast, it means forcibly. Mm -hmm. That means sometimes when, when, when a thought becomes an imagination, it takes a forcible effort to get rid of that thing. Yeah. But when you do it on the positive yeah. side, <clears throat> uh, you find me, then you can use your imagination uh, for positive things. Mm -hmm. Because, and, you know, in those, and, 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 and the devil wants you to use it wrongly. And that's why he's constantly putting different pictures in your mind. Yeah. Have you meditate on the wrong things so that so that so that so that that you'll end up because you're going to go in the direction of your imagination. Mm -hmm. You follow me? So this is the reason why we need to get this because God created mm -hmm. our our imaginations, mm -hmm. uh, and it is because it is uh, it, it is critical for the development of God's plan on the earth. Mm -hmm. So so our imagination, mm -hmm. and we're going to see this that. To, when God wants to get his plans mm -hmm. done in the earth, mm -hmm. he needs someone that will go there in their imagination and let him create it through them. Mm -hmm. uh, you follow me? Mm -hmm. Of what he wants to get done on the earth. And so you can see that mm -hmm. one time in the Bible when, when they had a difficult time, you know, uh, 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 you know they, they got dissatisfied where they at. And they said, you know what? We're going to go ahead and get together and make a, a tower that's going to reach to heaven. My God, yeah. uh, you follow me? And, 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 and God understood that, that they operated the prison number one, they were one, mm -hmm. and number two, they were using the imagination. Mm -hmm. And God said, You know what? Well, let's just read the scripture what it says in right. Genesis chapter number 11 and verse number six. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, mm -hmm. and they have all one language, mm -hmm. and this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. So what God is saying here is that I that I created them mm -hmm. with an imagination, mm -hmm. and I and I can see they're using the principle number one of unity. Mm -hmm. They're one. Number two, they're using the principle of their imagination. Mm -hmm. He said, if I don't put a stop to this, but those two elements, unity, right. Right. being one, and using the imagination, he said they'll be able to accomplish it. He said, nothing will be restrained from them. So your imagination is really how God says, I can get you to the supernatural mm -hmm. and I can turn improbable situations to possible through your imagination. Mm -hmm. So God says, I created you with an imagination for that very purpose. Mm -hmm. But they were using it for the wrong reasons of God to stop you because, because what they're doing, even though it's wrong and, and, and they're doing it for the wrong motive, mm -hmm. but they're using it, wow. uh, uh, something I, I created them with, and if I don't stop it, they'll accomplish it. Amen. So that's the reason why we need to go ahead and, and use our imagination mm -hmm. and learn how to use our imagination mm -hmm. as far as to get these supernatural results we want in our lives. And like I said, I'm going to be teaching on that this week because that is something that is so vitally important mm -hmm. as we're looking at the supernatural in those areas. Because you can't be believing God for something supernatural mm -hmm. and still focus on the natural. Mm -hmm. Are you following me? That's good. So look, let's look at this point. All right, how then do we use our imagination? Mm -hmm. Point number one. Use your imagination through meditation. Okay, that's point number one. Yeah. That, 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 now, use your imagination through meditation. When I first thought about meditation, I thought they were doing, um, you know, like being real silent and, and real deep. But that, but that is not the, the purpose of imagination. Mm -hmm. God, God, or, 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 or meditation, rather. Meditation, meditation. Uh, in those areas, we said that you're going you're gonna to use your imagination through the process of your of of uh, 
of meditation. Mm -hmm. And we're going to look at that probably tomorrow on how that all comes in, okay? But look what God said concerning meditation in the book of Joshua, chapter number 1 and verse number 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, mm -hmm. but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou may observe observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make that way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success so he's saying that your success and your prosperity is keyed mm -hmm. to meditation mm. and and we're gonna look at tomorrow how the word meditation and the word imagination is used simultaneously okay. are you following me so he's saying that you want to be really successful you want to really be prosperous in your life? Mm -hmm. He says it will come through the process of meditation. meditation. Are you following me? And so that's why it's so important for us to understand we've got to go to the geeks and the gurus and things like that. But the Bible teaches us about meditation. And mm -hmm. we're going to talk about the next week. We're going to talk about that. How then do you meditate? Because this is something important because my success and my prosperity is limited to my ability to understand how to meditate day and night. How do I make that happen in Jesus name? Mm -hmm. So that's very important. So, mm -hmm. so I create my future through this process. Mm -hmm. You follow me? So right now you, you are living in the future you created mm -hmm. <laughs> through your, the, through the process of meditation and your imagination. Mm -hmm. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. Job said a thing which I greatly feared is what came upon oh me. God, yeah. You know what? He didn't cast down those imaginations. When they came. So we got to understand. So in order to change things. We got to really change our imagination. But we change it through the process of meditation. And we're going to talk about that. And, and even in Psalms. In, in the book of Psalms. Mm -hmm. We can see that even David understood the power of meditation. Mm -hmm. But he also showed, told us about. We got to get away from certain meditations. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Certain environments. That we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Certain environments that I get that's keeping our meditation from being pure. Right. And you find me in those areas. So you notice what David said in Psalm chapter 1 and verse number 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, mm -hmm. nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. So he's even David is saying mm -hmm. that David became a very rich and wealthy man, very prosperous man. Mm -hmm. But he's telling us how he did that. Number one, he got out of the wrong company. Yes. He said, blessed is the man. That walk is not in the council of the ungodly. You know when you walk in the council of the ungodly, Ooh, the God. images that are there, you'll find yourself cussing like they're cussing, mm -hmm. drinking like they're drinking. Uh, you'll, find, you'll find yourself acting like they're acting because you, your meditation is what's, it, it, it's a part of meditation of what you have in front of you. Mm -hmm. He said, nor stand in the way of sinners, mm -hmm. changing your environment. Nor sit in the seat of the scornful. You know, changes your associations. Are you following me? He said, but now this is how you meditate. We're going to look at that more in depth tomorrow. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his word, mm -hmm. do it he meditate day and night. Mm -hmm. So I get away from what I want, don't want to see. Amen. So my imagination will pull in the wrong thing. Yes. And I got to connect myself to what I do want to see based on the word of God. And he said, if you'll do that, mm -hmm. look at what he says in verse number three. Uh, mm -hmm. He says, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water mm -hmm. that bear fruit in his season his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Yes. And that's what we're talking about. This, David said, if you meditate properly mm -hmm. on the word of God mm -hmm. and get out of, of the company of the ungodly yes. association, you know, and, and, and around, the center, around the centers, people that are off track and, mm -hmm. and going the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. That's what the center means. They're off track going the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. He said, but you'll put yourself back in this good environment of the word of God, meditating that word yes. day and night, he said, you're going to be like a tree. Glory That's to God. Right. Planted by the rivers of water that bears fruit. You want to bear fruit? You want to have results in your life? He said, it's going to come through the process yes. of meditation in the name of Jesus. Praise he God. says, fruit is leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does <laughs> shall prosper. Amen. So the prosperity is not up to God. It's up to us. 
It's up to us getting ourselves in that position to where we're meditating the word of God, mm -hmm. getting our mind off of these other things. Mm -hmm. and, 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 then, and then, like I said, tomorrow we begin to talk to you about that process of meditation yes. and how it works in Jesus' yes. name. Amen. Because that's something that's so important as you begin to move into this next year right. of, of what God's got for your life. Moving to the supernatural, this process of meditation can be so very important. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, so as we, as we, as we, as we, um, before we get ready to close today, because mm -hmm. I want to get that to you, because I want you to meditate on this today, mm -hmm. on these steps I've given you uh, in those areas, because God says I want you to begin to get results. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, you, know, you know, sometimes you know we're, we're there and and we're, we're doing a lot of things, but Lord, I'm not getting results. So, what is the next thing I need to do? Yeah. Because I need, I need this next point. What is the next point I need to do? Because mm -hmm. I understand that, the, that, that faith that works is dead. And, and faith is an action. So God, give me the next level, the next point I need to really move into yes. manifestation. Amen. And God is saying it's through the process of meditation, right. through your imagination, that you're going to prosper you're gonna be successful. Mm -hmm. You're gonna do everything you do. Going to prosper, everything. and that's why learning these things are gonna be so important to, to make it happen in that's Jesus' right. name. Praise God. <laughs> so, uh, as we get ready today to receive our offering today, as you, we're coming into this last uh, this last week of this year, mm -hmm. and Lord put in my heart that that you know to, to encourage many of you, Amen. not just encourage you, but really ask many of you mm -hmm. uh, to to partner. With this this final seed for this mm -hmm. year, uh, you follow me? Uh, because you know, just like you know, you believe in God for some things this year. We believe in God for some things this year, and a seed that you sow yes. in this in this last year, uh, that it's going to be so important because you're sowing the thing that's connected to your future is your seed. Amen. And the connect and the thing that ignition that in, and unlocks the blessing is your seed that you're sowing. Mm -hmm. So I want to encourage you, you know, during this last week before before this the New Year's Eve comes. To get your seed ready, yes. to sow a seed, Amen. Uh, 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 of, of, of you know, let's pray, pray about it, Lord. What kind of seed do I want to sow? Mm -hmm. Because your seed is connected to your future. Mm -hmm. And look here in the book of Ezekiel, uh, mm -hmm. what he talked about here about how your seed connects to your future. Okay. Notice in the book of Ezekiel, chapter forty-four and verse thirty, what it says: "And the first of all the first fruits of all things, mm -hmm. and every oblation of all." Of every sort of your ob obligation, oblation, oblation, excuse me, shall be the priest. Mm -hmm. Ye shall also give unto the priest the first of your dough, that he may cause a blessing to rest in thine house. So you see what he's saying? He said, now the first fruits you mm -hmm. sow into the things of God. Okay. You know, and, and, and he said the first of those first fruits you sow into the things of God. Mm -hmm. He said, and, and, and he said, really, it's actually to the ministry. Because mm -hmm. in that time, what God did, God had the ministers to come outside that secular employment yeah. so that they could actually serve him fully mm -hmm. and feed the people of God. Right. So he said, okay, now, you know, uh, to the congregation, he said, now, of all, the first the fruit of all that you bring, bring it to the priest. Mm -hmm. Now you found, and, said, and, and to the priest, you, you sold that seed to that priest there. Yeah. He said, and he, the priest, mm -hmm. has an anointing on his life or her life to, to actually cause the blessing to right. be on your house. That's right. So you want the blessing on your house this year? Amen. You want the blessing on your business? Amen. You want the blessing on your, on, 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 your, on your church, your ministry? He says, get that first fruit seed ready. That's good. And sow that seed now mm -hmm. first. Putting God first right now, and then expect as a result of that seed you're going to sow mm -hmm. the blessing to rest on your house. Amen. And so this week, God put in my heart to ask many of you, you know, that that listen to me on a continuous basis, mm -hmm. to ask you now to to sow your seed, that first fruit yes. seed, right now. For and, and what they did on first fruits, mm -hmm. you know, the many times they were they were an agrarian society. So I know there was a there was a grape vineyard from where we lived when I was raised when I was on a farm, mm -hmm. and 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 many and the, and the vineyard was large, and sometimes they would allow us to go in that in that vineyard and pick our own grapes. Mm -hmm. And what you would do is you would go to the, the part, you know, uh, you don't just pick a grape. You look at the part where the best grapes are, you know, or maybe in a certain part of the field where the grapes are the most juiciest, yeah. and, you know, the best part of it. And, 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 and that's the part that you wanted. Mm -hmm. So what God is saying is that is go to give God your best. Mm -hmm. Just like the person when I just give God, you know, go, go, go get some grapes. 
they will find the most choices and the most That's useless right. grapes. Right. So what God That's is right. saying, he wanted the, your best seed. Amen. You know, the, the, the one that really, you know, says, you know, this is what I want to present to God yes. as I present it to my priests in Jesus name. And, and I want the rest of my year to be in kind like this seed that I'm sowing. Mm -hmm. Are uh, you following me? So I want to encourage you to begin to pray about that. You know, as we get it, as we prepare for this new year to get your first fruit seed in place. Amen. You're following, get your first fruit seed in place because uh, because we're, as we talk about this this week, uh, as we're going to end up in this uh, on Friday, I want you to be ready. You can do it even before that. I want you to be ready to sow Amen. that first fruit seed. Yes. And, 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 and we're going to pray over it. And as, as an apostle of God, mm -hmm. then I'm going to release the blessing Praise on your life. God. As a result of your seed in Jesus' yes, name. Yes. So uh, again, the, the way you're going to do that, uh, as always, and many of you are so now. Maybe God put in your heart already to sow something already. Maybe you, you was already praying about this already. But you you, know, you sow your seed right there mm -hmm. uh, through Facebook or YouTube there. Mm -hmm. uh, right there, that link. Click that link in in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Or you do our cash app right there at dollar sign apostle I am. Or there at Zale uh, through your bank account mm -hmm. at I am Ministries. Or you can actually use that QR code right there. It'll take you right to our giving area. But I'll tell you something. This year mm -hmm. is predictable yeah. with your seed. Praise God. If I want a watermelon, I can predict it with my seed. That's right. And sow a watermelon mm -hmm. seed. If I want a cantaloupe, I can predict it with by sowing a cantaloupe seed. Right. So what is that that you're desiring this year? Mm -hmm. So this seed, I want you to be able to name it on Friday. I want you to be able to name this seed and, and I want you to start believing right now for the blessing of favor, increase, you know, supernatural uh, mm -hmm. uh, connections mm -hmm. to move to take place in your life this year. So begin to prepare it now because on Friday we're going to receive that first fruit seed Amen. as that's going to launch you into this new year in Praise Jesus' name. God. Praise God. But right now, for those that are on right now, I'm going to pray for your seed that you're going to sow right Amen. now, both in tithes and in offerings, but also in first fruits. Believe in God with you. For a supernatural year this year. Thank you, Father. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this thank morning you. for everyone that is that has joined us this morning. We thank you, Father, for the, the increase in their lives, the supernatural favor, blessing, and increase yes. on their lives yes. as they sow both on their tithe, their offerings, and their first fruits, Father. We give you thanks and we praise thank you, for what you're doing already to declare it in their lives. Yes. And we thank you for supernatural results in their lives. You, that Lord. this year will not just be a year of talking about it and saying what I believe in God for, but it'll be a year of getting results. And we yes. give you thanks for it, Father. Thank you, in Jesus' name. In Jesus amen name. and amen. amen. Well, praise God for you. Bobby, yes. I see I see Bobby's on. Oh, good morning, Miss Bobby. Amen. Welcome <laughs> this morning. Praise God to all of you that have been on with us today. And we appreciate you so much. Amen. Well, I'll tell you what, tomorrow, get ready, because tomorrow I'm going to go more in depth and explain Explaining yes. this meditation through your uh, through your imagination, that's right. and it's going it's going to be good because that's going to key to the prosperity and the results you're looking for in your life. Dr. Bell, get some final words. Yes, all we have to do is just keep believing God for those supernatural results, and when you get those results, I mean, you you have to keep believing for it also. And then when when you do that and you plant your seed, guess what? It's bound to happen. Try. So just keep believing God for the supernatural and just keep sowing those seeds no matter what it looks like. No matter how much you have, you keep sowing those seeds. Amen. Praise God. All right. Praise God. Well, it's time to stop. Remember tomorrow. Remember, share it before you leave. Yes. Share, it with, share this on your Facebook page, YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and, and, uh, and, and like it and and hit the bell, praise God, yes. so that every time we're on, we'll, you'll come up on your phone or your, whatever you're on in Jesus' name. Amen. So until then, tomorrow at the same time, it's been Apostle Alfred Craig. And Dr. Bev saying, May God's, God's riches and, and his, his very, very best, best be yours. yours. Have a Bye -bye great now. day.